Okay, so you're all very welcome to class tonight. So just a few little housekeeping. Um, if there's somebody else in the room with you, just be mindful that we're going to be breathing heavily. And as we know, um, it's an airborne virus. Okay, so do make sure that there's, there's a window open, that you're not directly facing each other, that you're going to be breathing on top of each other. Ideally, I would say do this on your own. Um, and, you know, maybe they can go on to their Facebook account and uh, do it through their own in another room. Uh, just to be safe. Okay, the other thing is, is just a reminder that you're doing this class of your own responsibility, so do take care of yourself. Um, I can't see you, it's a one-way traffic system, so um, so do, do be sensible and I'll give you quite a few different versions of the same thing. Um, tonight you're going to need a strap, so if you want to run and grab a tea towel or this is my dressing gown belt, um, or a long towel, anything at all, or, or just a normal belt would do you. So I'll just give you a minute to go and do that. Open a window while you're there and also uh, grab maybe a block to sit on or some cushions um, and also have some water handy as well. Okay, so we will be using our strap tonight, guys. So if you haven't got one, just do a quick legger, go and get one while we sort ourselves out. Okay, so there's a few more coming online, guys. Good evening and welcome. Hi, Sheila. How are you? Okay, so we're going to start off sitting upright now. If like me, your hips are a little bit tight, um, back is a little bit sore, sit on top of a seat. So cushions, just grab them off your couch and we'll do that. Legs can be anywhere at all, guys, any way at all, whatever works for you. So sitting comfortably, draw the flesh out from underneath your sitting bones. Let's roll the shoulders a couple of times and we'll just wake up our bodies. So roll sitting down probably a lot more. Um, if you're working from home, I'm sure your desk is not so ergonomic. So do Google it and have a little uh, look at that for yourself. Try and make it as, as best as you possibly can. Give those shoulders a really nice big roll all the way up and all the way down. That's it, big squeeze through the shoulders. That's it, just wake up the body. Well done. Let's clench our fists, squeeze everything you've got. That's it. Put a load of tension into your body. Squeeze it. Take a big inhale. And as you exhale, just let all that tension leave your body. Okay, just give the shoulders a little shake out. All right, let's work into the neck and into the throat and shoulder region. So, let your head just drop down. And we're trying to look down towards the belly button and just let the head hang. And when you're ready, just gently start to sway the head side to side. Now go easy, we're just warming up. If you've been sitting at a desk all day, we can't expect the body to perform miracles all of a sudden. Okay, so let's just tease it out. And on this group, every day at one o'clock, I have scheduled a little shoulder and neck exercise for you. So if you're planning on taking your lunch, take it just after one and you can do those exercises as well. And then when you're ready, let's just drop the head down, curl the chin in even deeper, relax the shoulders, Feeling the back of the neck opening all the way out. Just drop the shoulders a little bit more. Tuck the chin in. And then gently does it stack the head all the way back up. Nice and slowly. All right, so we're gonna drop the ear to the shoulder. Just go easy here and just allow it to hang. Let gravity do the work here for us. All right, now please stay here. Remember, everything is up to you. I'm only giving you ideas. Everything is a suggestion. So we're gonna take the opposite arm down towards the floor. Now that may be too much. You may, may want to bring it back up. And if you want to, just walk it away. That may be too much. Kind of just borderline for me, I have to be honest. And just let the ear drop. Relax both shoulders, relax the arms. 
Okay, I want you to listen to the instructions or out of the corner of your eye, have a little look. Roll the head forward to come out of it and bring the arm back in. Okay, so let's go the other side. So drop the ear to the shoulder, relax both shoulders. That's it. And then when you're ready, if you want to take the arm towards the floor, now I'm not going to move my arm further away because that's enough on that side. There's a muscle imbalance. I'm left-handed, so I'm really feeling it in around my left trap. So it's up to you if you want to take the arm away, away you go. So it's about exploring our body and knowing what feels right and what doesn't feel right. Okay, once again, we're going to roll the chin forwards and gently coming out of it. Well done. Just turn the head side to side. So just little side to sides. That's it. And then when you're ready, bring in it back. Okay, we're going to warm up our whole body, particularly our spine. We're going to do a lot of breathing and relaxation at the end. Somebody's just come online there, guys, so do be careful. This is more of, a, of an advanced class. Take a nice big inhale. Stretch up. Exhale. Open and expand. Hearts up. Chests up. Bend your fingers right back. Big inhale. Bring the hands back to center. And as you exhale, use your belly and bring the chin to the chest. That's it. And again, take a nice big stretch all the way through your body. Lift. Open out the arms. That's it. Trust your bust upwards and bend the fingers backwards. Big inhale. And exhale. And again, big inhale and exhale. So opening out those arms, thrust your bust up, big stretch into the body, bring the arms back, take the hands together, we're going to interlace our fingers, hollow out the belly, curl it under, push your back back, relax the shoulders away from the ears, make sure that the back is rounding, that's it. And then when you're ready, everybody, let's go the opposite way. Take the hands out behind you, shoulders back, chest up, squeeze the shoulder blades together, everybody. Lift your chest, squeezing everything you've got together. And then gently releasing it. Well done. Okay, when you're ready, reach the arms up. We're going to take the right arm on top of the left folding the right arm up in front of our face. Bring the bottom hand in towards your nose and we're gonna hook it around. Now, if you can't reach your palm, stick out your thumb and hold it there. Or I have a hair bobbin on here and that's a good way as well just to cheat, okay? So when you're ready, it's not cheating, it's just getting your body ready. Okay, back is nice and straight. Elbows in the midline. Breathing nice and deeply. Take another big inhale. And as you exhale, we are going to float the arms upwards towards the ceiling. That's it. Just breathing, breathing, breathing. And then slowly does it. We're going to bring the elbows down, that's it, hold it here, get the back nice and straight, now squeeze your tummy, your jeans, they just shrank in the wash, we're going to tip forward, not collapse, tip, keep the sit bones into the block or into your cushions, squeeze your belly, I'm creating a long diagonal line, I'm switching on my core, that's it. And then when you're ready, we're going to squeeze the belly back up and release those arms. Give everything a nice big shake out. Well done. Okay, so this is a really great shoulder massage. It's a nice one to try and remember. Take a nice big inhale, reach the arms up, left hand, left on top of right, shoulders back, 
Fold the arm up in front of my, your face. Bottom hand coming in towards your nose. And then when you're ready, hook around. Or stick out your thumb, whatever works for you. Okay, get the elbows drawing down. Lovely deep breath. Take a really nice big inhale. And as you exhale, now it's up to you how high you want to go with those arms. Just breathe into those shoulder blades. We never force anything. Remember, you're in charge. And then slowly does it, release the arms. Now we're just gonna bring them down to the belly button. That's it, hold it here. Sit up nice and straight, squeeze your tummy, it's really tight. Lift the chest and tip forwards, that's it. Okay, Jan is on board as well, hello England, how are you? That's it, chest is up, squeeze into the belly. Holding it here. That's it, take a really nice big inhale. And as you exhale, we're gonna pull all the way back up. Give those arms just a really nice shake around. Well done. Okay, popping over into our box position. So anyone who's just come on board, guys, you're gonna need a strap tonight. So if there's somebody in the house, you can shout at to go and get you one, <laughs> okay? Push the mat away, elbows spinning internally. Sliding one foot out behind you. I'm on the ball of the back foot. Take a big inhale. Exhale, we're gonna gently push back and inhale forwards. Exhale, push back. Inhale forwards. And another big exhaling back. We're gonna hold this one back. Go easy, just gently melt into the Achilles. Okay, so take another big inhale here. And as you exhale, press the heel just that little bit deeper. Now go easy. Remember, it's your calf. As a general rule, when we're cycling, the ankle and the foot aren't really moving all that much. You know, it's not like if you were hill walking, for instance. Okay, so we really need to focus on getting length into Achilles. And then gently does it release it. We're going to do the same leg in just a second. We're going to bring the knees a little bit closer together. Push the mat away. So do you see here, bring the shoulder blades together and then push the mat away. Bring that same leg back out behind you. Draw the arm up alongside of your ear. Pull it right back towards your hip, core connecting. Take a big inhale. And as you exhale, just barely lift the back leg off the floor. Continue to squeeze into your gut. After you've had a look, get the head back down so that you can see the top of your head. Or I could, if I could see you, I could see the top of your head. <laughs> Hip square, shoulder square. Watch out for the rib cage and the shoulder stability. We're going to push the mat away. Take a big inhale. Exhale, we're going to bring the elbow and the knee together, squeeze in and under. Inhale back out, tap the toe off the floor. Exhale in and under, we're going to do just one more here. Inhaling back out, big exhale, bring it in, squeeze your tummy, connect the knee, the forehead, and slowly releasing it out, hold, tummy tight, Bring it back in. All right, we're going to open the knees out. Sit back into our pose of the child. If your head is nowhere near the floor, get yourself some blocks, cushions, or potatoes with your fists, whatever needs to work for you. So forehead coming onto the floor, reaching the arms around behind you. And I want you to focus here on your breathing. So. If you can keep your head down, I'm just conscious that you may not be able to hear me with my head stuffed in the floor. So 
We're going to focus on inhaling to expand and exhaling, gathering up that tummy. Big inhale, expansion. And exhale. Last one, big inhale. And exhale. Slowly does it. Bring the hands back forward, lifting our head up. Walk the knees back in. If you need to, obviously put some cushions underneath your knees, make life as easy as you can for yourself. Knees closer than hip width distance apart. Okay, when you're ready, other foot, take a big inhale, exhale, roll back. Inhale, forwards, and exhaling, back. Inhale, forwards, and exhale, pushing back. We're gonna hold it here. Just press the heel back towards the floor. Just gently does it. That's it, keep those arms strong. And then when you're ready, just bring the knee back in, square up everything. Okay, stabilize through the shoulders, so really push the mat away. Fingers are engaging, we always have a strong hand. Hips nice and square, arm by the ear, roll the shoulder back, connecting the belly. Exhale, barely lift that foot off the floor. Push the mat away. Focus on that lovely long spine. Core connecting. Deep breaths, big inhale. One more deep breath, big inhale. And as you exhale, bring the elbow and the knee and the nose to touch. Reaching back out, tap the floor. Exhale, in and under, round your back. Inhale, reach back out. And exhale, bring it all the way back in, holding it, squeeze it, crunch that belly. Reaching all the way back out, hold it, and releasing it. Well done. Okay, let's give these shoulders a little stretch. Stay where you are, I'm just turning sideways for you. Okay, we're gonna keep the backside and the hips, and the knees, I beg your pardon, in a straight line. Puppy pose. Melting the chest down towards the floor. Alrighty, now, if your shoulders are not liking that, open them out, and you can come here, or if you prefer, just give your back a little bit of a springboard, okay? So just go easy on the shoulders, on the pecs, particularly if you've had any surgeries in around the pec area. Otherwise, allow the chest to melt towards the floor. Breathing deeply. That's it, taking another big inhale here. And as you exhale, slowly releasing it. Okay, getting ready for our first downward duck. Claw the mat. Hips up, push up, push back. Elbows curling internally. Nice big pedal out here. So, nice big dance through the heels. Keep the weight out of the arms, we're pushing back. Index fingers clawing at the floor, especially. Curl the elbows in as if you're trying to catch your ears. Press the two heels down simultaneously, bend your knees. Push your tushy up and back, all the way up and back. Stepping forward with one leg. Step forward with the other leg. 
Take a nice big inhale to look up. If you don't have a block, use your thighs. And exhale, folding down. Another big inhale as we look up. And exhale. Create this letter L, take another big inhale. And exhale, well done. Hang out here for just a moment. Sway side to side, creating space in our backs. This is a great one to do if you're sitting down all day. So at lunchtime, just try and get up and do this one. It's going to stretch out your hamstrings, but it also helps to reverse your vascular system. Okay, so if you think about it, blood is going down all the time. Okay. And I'll show you some inversions as well. And then drop it here. Okay, bend your knees if you need to. Tummy does the work. Squeeze, lift up through the tummy. Nice big stretch. Inhale, hips forward, shoulders down. Stretch here through the gut, through the front line. And gently releasing it into our standing position, folks. Well done. Shoulders back. Okay, so just a reminder, guys, this is more of an advanced intermediate class. If it gets too hard for you, just log off and I have our morning class you'll find um, is easier than what I did this morning. Big stretch. Inhale. Stretch out of your bodies. Exhale. Dive it down. Inhale to look up. Exhale. Fold down. Bend your knees. I'm just going to turn sideways for you. Bend your knees, getting the chest onto the thighs. Tuck the tail under. Up you come. Into Utkatasana, chair pose. Now, I'm just going to stick my bum out for you there. You can see that. It's quite hard on my back. So tuck it under and connect through the core. Hold it here. Okay. Imagine there's a bar here. We're going to gently hinge forward over the bar. Keep those hips in position. Take a big inhale. Exhale, squeeze your gut and lift back up. Keep the hips exactly where they are. You're sitting in your saddle. Hinge forward over the bar. Arms alongside your ears. Exhale, keep those hips still. Squeeze, abs burning. And again, hinge forward. That's it. Hold it, my arms are dropping, sit down, keep your bum down, squeeze up, squeeze up through the core, guys. Hold it here, knees apart, tummy tight, dive down, well done. Inhale to look up. Exhale, fold down. Stepping back with our right leg. Hold it here on the right leg, give the pelvis a little bit of a bounce. And then gently does it, guys. Getting ready for warrior one pose. Back knee on the floor now if you need it. Arms down if you need it. So you can be here, you can be here. Continue to scoop the pelvis under, opening out hips, groins, and hip flexors. Lovely deep breaths. That's it. When you're ready, coming into warrior two. Turn the back foot out, ground it down, tail is under. Okay, when you're ready, scoop the butt under. We're going to try and get our hips square to the other wall. Now, do you see my knee has buckled in? It's because my groin is too tight. Okay, but on the plus side, my hip's not going to pop out, so that's always handy. <laughs> okay, arms out nice and long. Squeeze into those inner thighs. Breathing nice and deeply. We're going to keep the front knee bent. Tipping backwards. Shoulder back and relaxed. That's it. So when you're ready, we're going to reach the right arm around behind our back. We're going to aim to tuck into the crease of the inner thigh and grabbing a hold of our thigh. So nice big lengthening, diving back. Ground down to that back foot. 
Take a big inhale, straightening up the front leg. Exhale, lengthening forwards, getting ready for Trikam Asana. If you can, we're going to keep the hand here. If your hand is nowhere near your thigh, hold on to the elastic of your trousers. Okay, roll up into the ceiling. And as you exhale, tipping down. That's it, taking the hand still inside of either your trousers. Your block is here if you need it. So I'm going to press into the shin, into the block, and we're spinning open to the ceiling. And I don't know if you can see, but my hand has been able to come around now and get a good grab a hold of that thigh. Push down into the ribs. Breathing deeply. Take another big inhale. And when you're ready, big inhale. And as you exhale, coming up, reaching all the way up, reverse warrior. Pushing the rib cage open. Relax both shoulders. Turn your nose right up into that armpit. Opening out here into the diaphragm, into the rib cage. And cartwheeling forwards. Well done. Okay, switch your legs around. Bring your block here so it's handy for us. Starting off with the foot pointing forwards. Remember, you can have the back knee on the floor if you need it coming up. Tail is under and melting down. So just a reminder guys, if you have blood pressure issues, your arms would always need to be down. Okay, so if I forget to tell you and you have blood pressure issues, if you could just remember that yourself. So just breathing deeply. So imagine your two legs are pipe cleaners and they're being driven up into the hip sockets. That's it. Turning the foot out. That's it. Have a look at your heels, get them into a nice straight line. I'm gonna use the edge of my mat so that I know where I am. Bring the hips square and flush. Keeping the front knee bent, reverse. So pressing the pelvis down, relaxing both shoulders. Take the left hand around behind your back. Now, you could just hold on to your trousers, like I said, or if you're able to, just getting your fingers to walk into that thigh. Breathing deeply. Getting ready for trikonasana with the arm hooked into the inner thigh, straightening out the front leg, hinging forward, lunge it, that's it, nice big stretch, and then tipping down. It's not a collapse, I have lengthened and then hinging downwards. Your block is there. So don't worry if you haven't got a block tonight, you've got the inside of your leg and we're going to press into it and then it spins us open. Now we're very deep into the back here, so obviously you're in charge. Remember, everything is just a guide, guys, and it really is up to you to take responsibility for yourself. Take another big inhale. Last one, take a big inhale. And as you exhale, keeping that leg strong, releasing that arm, reaching up. Drive up through the rib cage, softening the top shoulder. Push out through the rib cage, guys. And then when you're ready, cartwheel the two hands forward down onto your mat. Step out into our plank. Claw the mat. 
Okay, so have a look at your index fingers. They're pointing north. Spin the elbows around, keeping the hands where they were. We're going to bring it forwards so that the weight comes right up on top of the tippy toes. Clamping the elbows into the side, chaturanga. Chest and chin coming towards the floor. Hips forward. Now hearts, guys, remember, thighs relaxed. Back is happy and it's the necklace that is lifting up. After you've had a look, tuck your chin back in. And then gently release, big push. Hips up. That's it. Have a little walk out here, wiggle around, do what you need to do. We're gonna stay here for five breaths. Plug the big toe into the floor. Try and get your heels to disappear behind your toes. Thighs squeezing and lifting. And then when you're ready, everybody, slowly does it. Step forward with one foot, doesn't matter which one. Step forward with the other foot. Have a look at your feet. You're on your two skis, nice and straight. Big inhale, look up. Exhale, long, flat, straight back as if you're being folded in half. Inhale, once again. That's it. And exhale, folding ourselves in half. Last one. Big inhale. And exhale, folding ourselves in half. Bend your knees, find your bike, sit right down into your little saddle. And then when you're ready, sweep up into Ukatasana chair pose. Tuck the tail under and sit right down. Hold your seat. Okay, arms alongside your ears. Tip forward, long flat back. That's it, keep your bum where it is. And exhale, squeeze it up. Two more. Float down, keep the toes relaxed. Hinging forwards. Straighten up your feet if they've moved. And exhale. Last one, big inhale, that's it, and again, big exhale, squeeze your gut, squeeze your gut, coming up, coming up, keep those knees apart, tail is under, sit right down into it, let's dive out of it, well done, hang out here, hang out here, okay, a little roll around. So just sway side to side like an elephant's trunk. Shake out your arms, shake out your head. That's it. Okay. And when you're ready, scoop the belly into the spine. Squeeze your gut nice and strong. Take a really nice big inhale. Stretch out of your bodies, hips forward, hearts out. Stretch all the way through your groins and gently releasing it. Well done. We're going to get ready for pigeon pose. I will give you an alternative. Inhale and exhale, float. Inhaling to look up and exhaling to float down. Now we're going to step back out into a downward dog to just get us right. Push the weight back. Walk the feet together. And I'm going to get you to lift one foot like so at a time. And that just gives your hips a little bit of a wiggle out, nice into the lower back. Okay, press the two feet down. Push up, push back. Okay, find your right leg. We're going to cock the right leg like a little doggy. Open it all the way out and reveal the groin. Curl the heel, the one in the air, right in towards your booty. Push all the way back into your left 
foot. Again, go easy. And then when you're ready, we're going to swoop the right leg down and underneath us. I'll show you again in case you lost me. And we're going to end up here. So if you're here, stay here. I'm just going to demonstrate that one more time for those of you who may need a little help. Okay, so swoop it open like a doggy, keeping the leg in the same position, bring it down and underneath you, and then hold your um, pigeon pose. Okay, so we're holding it here, just turn around for you. Okay, if you need to, get some cushions or your block and stick it here underneath your right hip. Now that's too high for me, so I'm just gonna hold it here. Have a look at your left leg and just bring it back in behind you. Stay up nice and high. If you put your head down already, bring it back up and just wait for it, okay? We want to get these groins to open out. Okay, so just let gravity do the work for a moment. Okay, we'll get us a little deeper in just a sec. Use your belly. Alrighty, now we're going to keep the weight back here so it's right over my hips. Make sure our front knee is happy. Keeping the weight back, we're going to lengthen forwards. And again, I'm going to give you a few options here. So, option one is just to fold your arms, make potatoes. Um, or if you need to, you can make a chin rest. If the head is okay to come down, then we're here on the floor. Okay, now if you've sat your right bum down on the floor and you're sort of rolling to the right, I'm exaggerating, okay, roll back into the centre and get the weight out of the front knee. So just hold it here. So breathing deeply. Roll the shoulders back away from the ears and we have our forehead right in the very centre of your forehead. Um, if you think about um, in Hindu, it's where the bindi is. In Catholicism, it's where your Ash Wednesdays would be. So it's right there in the very spot of your forehead. So just play with the hips and find where that stretch really kicks into your booty. And remember, we need to try and relax into the cheeks. And let gravity help you down. Get the weight back out of the front knee. Shouldn't be in there in the first place, but just in case it was. Okay, I'm going to curl my back heel. I don't know if you can see that. I'm just going to curl the back heel in towards my back. Yeah, you can see the shadow. That's it. Hold it here. Okay, reach around on the opposite arm. So we're going to reach around with the right hand and hold it here. Now, if you can't reach that foot, don't even bother. Just curl it in as best as you can. If you want to, you can take the two arms behind, not for everybody. Breathing deeply. And then when you're ready, everybody, we're going to slowly release the back leg. And we're going to release this front bum. Now, freestyle, do whatever you need to do. Stand up, walk around, give it a shake out, just whatever works for you. It doesn't matter at all. That's it. Okay, so just give it a good old shake out. We're going to get ready to do the other side. So come back to my downward dog whenever you're ready. Bring the feet nice and close together. Give your hips a little bit of movement. Push back. All right, left leg. Here's your doggy. Cock your leg like a little dog. Open it out. Curl the heel right in towards your backside. 
push back all the way back into that right heel. So we're looking at our left leg, the one in the air. Swoop it down and under. That's it. Play around with it. Okay, walk the weight back. Now this is the most important part, guys, okay? Any, anyone can lie here and put pressure in their knee, okay? I don't suggest doing it because you really don't want to go to hospital at the moment, or any time for that matter. Okay, so sit up nice and tall. Let gravity do the work on the hips for a moment. So it's amazing how even after like just five seconds, you start to sink into it, okay? So we do just need to be um, a little bit patient. If you need to, your block or your cushion here underneath your left bum. If you've sat down, up you come. Alrighty, that's it. Chest up, head up. All right, keeping that up, I'm gonna get you to fold forward. I'm just gonna move my knee. All right, folding forwards. Keep the hip either off the floor or on your cushions. Floating the head down and breathing. So, once the forehead is on the floor, you can either have the arms as a headrest or out on the front. Do pull the shoulders back away from your ears and breathe. Now, if your belly is on your bottom leg, that's a really nice tactile way to feel your breath. So you're breathing in, your belly pushes into the leg. And as you exhale, you can feel your belly contracting off your leg. You relax the shoulders. into it guys please make sure your front knee is happy and just allowing your bum cheek to soften in its own time and when you're ready take a big inhale and as you exhale push up push back let's lift the torso holding it here Curl the back heel in towards you. Now, I should have said earlier, if that back heel won't even get up off the floor, that's okay. It's a tight hip flexor, okay? So that's why we're here. We're working on it. I'm trying to give my leg a wiggle so you can see it, but oh, there it is over there. Okay. So reach around on the opposite hand if you want to. Okay, it's very noticeable that this side is a lot tighter, restricted than my other side. And then when you're ready, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this one. Okay, chest up, shoulders back, and breathing into it. So you can see that the chest gets opened, the diaphragm gets opened, and we're undoing all that rounded posture that we've had both at our desk and on our bike. So when you're ready, just release that leg. That's it, let's push, push up, push back. Claw the mat. That's it. Holding it here. When you're ready, we're gonna roll forward into our plank. Soften between the shoulders and push away. When you're ready, roll right up on top of those big toes, bending the elbows chest and chin onto the floor, press the hips forward, shoulders back, so proud necklace, it's not your back, it's your chest, elbows back, shoulder blades together, push up, push back, 
hips up. That's it. And then when you're ready, step one foot to the outside of its hand. Step the other foot to the outside of its hand. Dropping down into our yogic squat. So if you need to, you have your block, you could sit on your block. You could have your block here for your hands if you needed it. Okay, press down into the baby toe side of your foot. Elbows to the inside of the knees. Pack is nice and straight. So here, rather than just collapsing into your knees as always, focus on our pelvic floor. So if this is your front passage, this is your back passage, right here in the center is our pelvic floor. Okay, so ladies, it's like lifting up a handbrake or a tissue. And for the boys, if you imagine you're walking into the sea, the sea is cold or you're coughing for the doctor. Okay, and if you're not sure, ladies, get out your skipping ropes, okay, or jog on the spot. And boys, if you're not sure, cough <laughs> deeply. Outside, not near anyone, obviously. Okay, so squeezing here. That's it. So we're wakening up our ankles, our hamstrings. You're boosting circulation down below into your nether regions, which is gonna have extra um, sensitivity. Okay, boys, you're massaging out prostate as well. We are squeezing our gut and our bowels. So again, really nice way to bring on a detox. And then gently does it, release it. Let's pop down onto the floor, give those legs a spin out. Well done. Okay, so we're gonna come a little bit deeper into quad and into hip flexors. And then we're gonna be using our strap. So if you haven't got a strap, guys, you might want to go and grab one at some stage as well. Okay, bring the two feet to one side of your mat like so. Okay, please make sure the front leg is visible. If you buried it under the knee, move the knee. Okay, my, this hand, my back hand, is going to be strong. Okay, nice and strong, claw the floor. All right, tuck the pelvis under and just give it a little push. Keep the corresponding knee on the floor. If you're not feeling too much here in the quad, you can just move the knee or the ankle back and find where you want to be with it. Now remember, be sensible. We're gonna deepen this, so don't go too mad too quick. Pace yourselves. Okay, drop the hip. Inhale. Exhale, tuck under once again. Check in with your back hand. Watch out for the shoulder eating the ear. Back up. And a big exhale, guys. We're gonna tuck the hips um, under. I'm gonna lift them up off the floor. That was my hip cracking. Okay, we're gonna reach up with the arm. We're gonna dive over an imaginary cactus. Push those hips all the way forwards. Breathing deeply. So creating this lovely long arc into the spine, continue to push the hips forward and the heart up, and then slowly does it, releasing it down, guys. Well done. Okay. <laughs> Other side. Make sure your foot is visible. All right, remember our hand, we wanna protect our wrist. So if you have a flat, dead hand, you're gonna go home, well you are home, but you're gonna go home with carpal tunnel syndrome after the class, okay? Try and keep the hand really active. Okay, knee to the floor, tuck under, and push that hip. So like Elvis Presley, nice big hip thrust. And back off, another big inhale. Exhale, tuck under. Big push and release it. This is our big one. Now guys, if you don't wanna lift up, just continue here with those hip tucks for me. Okay, lift the hips up, back out, nice and strong. Hips scooping under, reach. Now dive over an imaginary knife. Open your mouth, it will help to relax you. 
Check in that you can speak and swallow comfortably. Okay, otherwise we're straining our neck, our throat. So breathe and tuck under with those hips. And then slowly releasing it, down you come, well done. Okay, so before we come into our strap, feet, give your knees a little bit of an open out. Back is nice and straight. Well done, I think everybody's still on board. I can just about see the numbers without my glasses. <laughs> okay, hook onto the two big toes. Find those pelvic floors once again. Sandwich the feet, squeeze them like a pinini machine. Nice flat sandwich. Okay, roll it back, chest up. Okay, mind your head, just make sure there's nothing behind you in case you lose it. Okay, stay here if you're happy here. Balance is balance, guys, so please just, you know, we don't need any euros. Otherwise, feet coming up, happy baby. And then when you're ready, only if you feel up to it, taking those legs up and out. Now again, you don't need to do any of this. You can just be here, keep the feet together, or here, doesn't matter at all. All right, take those legs back down. Well done, okay. We're just gonna take a little back bend. So always pretend there's a cactus or a candle here behind you. We wanna get up and over that. So big stretch up, dive over your candle or your cactus, chest up, shoulders back, hearts out. That's it, and releasing it. Well done, okay. Give your back. A little bit of a mooch, that's it. All right, so let's come and lie down and grab our strap. Now, just make sure um, that you have enough space around you and that you're not gonna kick any furniture or any of your nice pictures or trinkets over. Okay, so taking one leg into the strap, flex the foot. If your head is hanging, grab yourself a cushion or your block and pop it in underneath it. Okay. Try and have something long that your shoulders can relax. Okay, if your shoulders are up around your ears, you're kind of wasting your time, to be honest. Flex the foot, so kick out through the heel. And I've done the same, this leg that's down on the floor, I'll just show you, it's also flexed. Breathing into it. Now, once again, this is where everybody tends to go mad, and in class I would see this kind of thing shaking or shuddering. You might see knees bent to cheat. Go back to where the leg is straight, so that might be here for you today. I don't have a sitting down job, guys, so my hamstrings aren't as tight as perhaps yours are, okay? So try not to have a bent knee. Go back, even if it means the leg is here, and just work with it here. If it's shaking or shuddering, back off. You're gonna go I keep saying going home injured, you're going home injured if it's shaking or shuddering. So just relax into it. All right. Take the two ends of your strap into the same hand. So it's my right leg, my right hand. I'm going to take my left arm out to the side like a little aeroplane. Keeping the left hip down into the floor, I'm going to drop that leg my right leg out to the side. Keep the hips square to the floor as if there was two tent pegs and you're pinned down into the floor. So just go easy, just go easy. Please be strict with yourself here. If you've any sort of twist in your spine, take it out. You're damaging your back, take it out. We wanna focus here on inner thighs, flex the feet, and then take another big inhale. Exhale, bring the leg straight. Okay, watch the change. I'm gonna take my other hand, take my strap. This arm will be out to the side. Now, be strict with yourself. Take the right leg. If you imagine the hands of a clock, I'm gonna to get to bring it over to just about 11 o'clock. Okay, maybe, maybe even 10, but 11 or 10. 
hips. Keep that hip down in the floor. Okay, look, if your hip is gone, you're wasting your time. Bring it back. We're focusing here. IT band, guys, okay? You're all cyclists, or well, whatever you are, or runners, you've been to a physio and you've all been told you have a tight IT band, okay? It's here. It's a band, it's not muscle. There's a lower blood supply to it, and that's why it's always so tight. Okay, plus we go out cycling, we do all kinds of crazy things. Okay, now I am gonna bring this into a twist. Watch me first and then join in. So if you imagine you're doing your first aid, you wanna bring in a recovery roll. So I've just brought the leg over, keep the right shoulder down, and then turn your head to look down the right arm. Breathe. Now you can leave any of these out if you don't wanna twist your back today, that's fine. Ladies, you know, sometimes it's just not nice for us to go twisting our tummy so much. It's just not pleasant. So obviously you can leave that out. Likewise, if you've had your dinner, take another big inhale. And as you exhale, let's just unwind, bring the leg back, and we're gonna get ready to change it around. Okay, other foot. Hinge. Okay, mind your back, make sure, so you can always bend your knee up, I should have said that earlier, apologies. Okay, flex your feet, both of them, shoulders down. So imagine you have flip-flops on. And just breathing deeply. Back off if you're shaking or shuddering. Make sure that you're working with where the leg is straight. Okay, we're taking the strap. So left leg, left hand. My right arm is here as a little one-winged airplane. Keep the hip down into the floor, everybody. And open the left leg to the left. So breathing. It. and then when you're ready let's bring the leg back we're going to switch hands taking the uh, left arm out to the side now remember our left leg anatomically really can only get to between sort of one o'clock and two o'clock if it's off over here at three or four you've twisted your back okay so anatomically with the two hips down on the floor that leg can only go um, I don't know, what's that, about 20 degrees? I'm not sure. Maybe a bit more, 30, 35. <laughs> I don't know. Haven't got my protractor handy. Okay, make sure that the back is straight. Mine is starting to spin, so I'm going to check in with myself. And then when you're ready, now we're going to take in our recovery roll. Here's your first aid. Bring the leg across. Keep the other shoulder, so my left shoulder, bring it back down. Turn your head to look down the left arm. And then when you're ready, everybody, Slowly does it, bring it back. That's it, just unwind, give that leg one last little pull, go easy, and release it. Well done. Okay, I have no idea at the time because I forgot to bring a watch to class. Let's see if I can see what's going on. Okay, doesn't matter. All right, so we're gonna finish off our class. This is the most important part of the class, so please, please, please stay, it's not the end. Okay, bring the soles of the feet together and allow the knees to flop out. If you have any issues with your hips, feel free to bring the knees back or the legs out straight. Take the arms out overhead and we're gonna tuck the chin in. And I'm gonna get you to close your eyes 
and focus on our breathing here. Okay, double chin. So what have we done in this position? We've opened out our diaphragm and our lungs to full capacity. Make sure there's a window open as you deep breathe. So long, slow, deep inhales, fill up. Holding the breath in. And as you exhale, slowly out through the nose. So I want you to be aware of the point in time at the very end of your exhale. There's a point in time where there is nothing left in your body. Focus and find that point. So we're just going to stay here for another minute. If you want to stay longer, that's okay. There's no hurry because you're not going anywhere. And then when you're ready, let's take one last long. Deep inhale, hold it. And a great big. That's it. So just slowly starting to move. And just make sure that you're happy. Just have a little wiggle, there's no hurry, just slowly moving, just gently coming back. Have a little stretch or twist or hug your knees up, whatever you intuitively want to do, do. And then rolling over onto your side, make a pillow for your head with your hands. And just hang out here for a sec. So just allowing our body to recover. And then slowly does it, take your time. Pop back up into a seated position. Any way at all. Everybody's still there, that's great. So we're nearly finished, just one more minute. Stay warm. Okay, so taking our hands together, 
We're going to take the knuckles of our thumbs as always here into the very centre of the breastbone. Okay, ladies, obviously, if like me, if you know sports bras and things on, you can do this later when you're lying down. But kind of just get in there for the minute. Anahata, heart chakra. So our heart chakra is obviously here in our emotional centre. And the colour of our heart chakra is green. So I always love to imagine a great big emerald. Okay, so just imagine this green colour emanating from your chest. And just be aware of that point in your body. And then when you're ready, we're going to come right up again into that point. So right here in the very centre of your forehead. Again, so just think about some of those religious symbols, okay, they all correlate, all the religions come back and correlate to quite a few things. And right behind here, guys, in the very centre of our head is our pineal gland, okay, which is our higher self. Okay, and it's fluoride that damages our pineal gland. Okay, so you can Google all those kind of things. And then when you're ready, everybody, let's bring the hands back into the center of the forehead. Do engage, so just have a little bit of a moment here. The color here is indigo, so kind of a pinky purple. And then when you're ready, let's just give ourselves a lovely little bow forwards. Well done, everybody. We're finished for today. Namaste, gang. Well done. Very nice. Okay. <laughs>